Hi. How are you? Are you ready for a reset? Yes, I, I like how you brought out the pink for kind of a, let's get happy about something. Thank you, yeah, I did. I'm excited for the summer. We need some sun in our lives, number one, right? Vitamin yeah. D, good for the soul. Yeah. yeah. I should, it's just gonna be like on camera. I should probably take this off. So First off, thank you for your thoughts of doing that. Um, are you, where are you gonna be this summer? Boston. You are? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to Florida Thursday uh, on a one-way trip and then I'm gonna go back to Boston. I love that, a one-way trip. What do you have, what is, what are you hoping to do in Florida other than hit the beach? Uh, golf, yeah, pretty much. My three best buddies are meeting me down there. So a little refresh, some sun, some golf, and then Boston for the whole summer? Yes. Okay, so I know a lot during the season and kind of the, between the seasons, you had a lot of the guys staying with you at your house in Philly. It was kind of like the rotating hotel, yeah. hotel haze. Yeah. It was. Uh, Are you gonna miss that? Are you excited to have some space? Uh, yeah, it'll be nice to. My place in Boston is way smaller than my place here. Uh, my place here is too big. I need people sleeping there. Um, yeah. So today was the last night of. The last night was the last day of. Jake, Justin, and Patty staying at my place. Yeah. <laughs> You're a saint. Uh, so. That's fun though. So other than golfing and sun and all that, I know you're a big foodie. Is there somewhere yeah. in Boston that you're really looking forward to grabbing some food? Is it My big foodie stuff is in New York. I like to go to New York and go to my restaurants there. Um, and so I like to go to Mark Forgione, uh, Rayo's, uh, Wilfie and Nell. Um, those are my spots in New York. And then back at home, uh, I like to go to South Boston and go to a place called Loco and Fat Baby. Ooh. They're good spots. What's Fat Baby got? It's a sushi spot. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, and then I'll spend a lot of time in Nantucket as well, which is my favorite spot. So it sounds like yes, you're getting the sleep, the reset that we need, that you need, we all need. I'm just saying. Um, are you doing any shopping? I feel like I was just talking to one of my coworkers that I work with here, and we were talking like, when you work so hard, you just want to. Spend some money on yourself. Ah, uh, that's the old me. Ah, uh, now I'm saving my money. Um, no, uh, I got some trips booked. Um, some from fancy golf spots that will be expensive. Uh, that's really it. I spend my money on food and golf now. I'm, I'm, I'm over my, my uh, shopping style. Oh yeah, you just had a week of birthdays in your yeah, household. Crazy week, yeah. Did you do anything? Um, what did we do for my, yeah, we had like a few people over for, uh, at our like uh, community room at our condo oh, there, so. That's nice. That was pretty much it for mine. And I'm trying to think, Lauren's aunts came for Scarlett's birthday and then for her birthday. So it was a chaotic uh, weekend. I saw you guys did like a really fun theme for Scarlett's birthday. Yeah, George Washington. Is yeah. that what that was? It was very George Patreon. Washington, 1776, yeah. Was that all Lauren's idea or are you? Yeah, that was all Lauren. So she was tr trying to get people to wear uh, red, white, and blue or George Washington or something. So, so that was pretty funny. Yeah. Well, she okay. Lost the themes. Did anyone show up as George Washington? No, you know what? That would have been perfect. I think we were looking into doing that, but just with like COVID and stuff, it was just, we didn't want to overcomplicate it. I did see Shane and Gina come through. Yes, with they had some shirts, some custom shirts made, yep. I'm sorry, <laughs> Scarlett's the goat number one because yeah, that picture. Seriously. She's got a little fan club, yep. Yeah, well, Shane and Gina are the captains of the Yeah, family. they are, for sure. That's so fun. Did you guys, that was in your community room or was that at Franklin? That was at the, that part, what is it? Fra Franklin, is it called Franklin Square. Square? Yeah, yeah, so at Franklin Square Park, yeah. 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 I'm not a stalker, but I know Franklin Square, yeah, so when yeah. I saw the stories, I was like, yeah. I recognize that. Yeah. While it is fresh in your mind, we did learn a lot from like how quick we could adapt and change. What would your biggest takeaway be from the past season in the past 14 months just being able to make it through all this yeah obviously with this the way this year was for us especially on the road it was a lot more kind of downtime uh, on your own um, so uh, yeah it's trying to find stuff to different hobbies and things like that for me I again watched a bunch of TV shows and things like that caught up on that I actually did a Harvard Business School crossover program too which was pretty cool what um, wait go yeah, back so. is business yeah. you okay hold on so you took business yeah. school classes while on the road 
Not, not quite business school classes. It was like a program that Harvard offered now with uh, the NHLPA where like, um, again, and it was all like you could basically make your own schedule where you had a couple mentors that were in the Harvard Business School and you would look through these different case studies and then you did like a final case study, sort of final exam sort of thing. So it's uh, just looking at different businesses or different athletes and brands and um, teams and organizations and things like that. And it's kind of, uh, again, they they give these case studies out and then you kind of look through them and see what catches your eye and you notice about them and then you talk it through and um, yeah it was it was it was fun it was uh, cool that could do something a little different like that that is very cool not what I thought you were gonna say way to make you spend <laughs> time on the road um, did you find after you did that you were giving like yourself and your teammates some advice in terms of like branding because of all these case studies you're of that stuff like you know what not quite maybe if someone asked me I have, I have some different insights now there were some pretty cool ones uh, trying to think the ones that I liked the most. There was one on uh, Giannis um, and his, uh, this was, I, they're all usually obviously from uh, like a little bit in the past. So it was like when he was gonna potentially make his decision to, uh, to re-sign in Milwaukee, that was an interesting one. Um, hopefully I'm not spilling the beans on something I wasn't supposed to with these things, but, uh, but no, there was uh, one on Roger Federer and um, he created this uh, tennis tournament, uh, the Labor Cup. Um, and they're just looking into that and if that was like a long-term sustainable model. Um, and then, yeah, the mentors that I had, we looked at um, a couple like failed, uh, failed businesses just because, again, I can, uh, yeah, I'm definitely interested in like entrepreneurial type stuff. So um, they were kind of pointing out some different things and mistakes that these, this company made and why they didn't succeed and why they ended up failing and stuff like that. So. Anyway. No, between this and like, you know, your wife's obsession with politics, basically. Like I just, no. I can imagine you guys are <laughs> firing away the conversations in the Van Tech <laughs> household. Speaking of household, where are you guys going this summer? Where are you going to be? Minnesota. Yep. So we're uh, going to be here for a couple more weeks and heading back there and getting all uh, settled in uh, back home. We just finished, uh, finished building our house. Um, basically right before the bubble. So we haven't really full, we've obviously been there a decent amount of time, especially last off season, but still some things to finish up around the house just to make it feel more like home. So it'll be nice to spend some time there and uh, get everything uh, as we want it. What's on the, the to-do list to finish? Just like little stuff uh, and little, to finish different rooms. We just did uh, Scar's playroom. So we finished that up. She has a little kitchenette in there that she likes uh, banging around with. Um, oh, I did so that, see that. Yeah. It's nicer yeah. than my kitchen. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, she definitely, I think uh, Lauren found a, a good one, one of these like floor model sort of uh, units that they had a huge sale on. So she's like, oh, Scar might love this. So we got it at home and Scar, lo like literally like she just, you could even have her favorite TV show on and she'll be in the corner banging around in the uh, in the kitchen. So like, yeah, we've done stuff like that. And then just some, yeah. some stuff in our basement, uh, just like different, getting different, rugs and different uh, furnishings like that just to, to get everything finished up. Takes a long time, I salute you guys. Yeah, it's never ending. <laughs> Where are you going to be this summer? Uh, Toronto, back uh, back home in Toronto, yeah. I'll, I'll hang around here for probably a month and then go back like mid-June. Plans for the summer that you're looking forward to? What are we doing? Uh, well, nothing right now because Ontario's in uh, another lockdown. So uh, probably just see some family and, and uh, be able to do that. Just uh, just see some grandparents and, and my parents and all that. So I think that would just be the nicest part for sure. Yeah, and you know what I'm hearing? A lot of free time for wedding planning. Yeah, that's not on me, I don't think. That's, uh, that's Chloe. A lot of a lot of hanging out with Brucey. Oh, love Brucey. Yeah, have you met him? I met him on the podcast that you listened to. Are you so proud? Chloe did great. Yeah, I listened to a little bit. Yeah. Okay, well, she think I <laughs> thought you listened to the whole thing, but anyway, Bruce made an appearance on the pod, and we learned all about how you guys named him, Matilda. Matilda, you like the movie? I literally can't even remember it. That's how not in touch I am with it. You two are like big, big Matilda fans. I know, sorry. Go home and watch it. You're right. That is the first thing I'm going to do with, with our off Perfect. season. Perfect. Okay, so you guys are not getting married this summer, right? No. 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 Okay. No surprise wedding like JVR and Lauren style. No. No chance. Um, is there anything that you've got on your mind that you want to accomplish during the summer? I know you guys, you bought a new house there, right? During... Quarantine? Yeah, we uh, we bought a townhouse, so um, 
just go back and kind of finish up some stuff there. I think uh, we were kind of half moving in and, and uh, took some time with, with uh, COVID and everything. So um, just put the finishing touches on it and then just spend time outdoors and, and uh, sit outside together and, and uh, have some nice dinner. So I think that will be the, the best part of it is, is to just to spend some quality time together. I love that. Do you cook? Do I cook? Yeah. Uh, not really. I can cook, but uh, it's not, uh, it doesn't happen very often. When you do, what is the specialty? <laughs> stir fry. <laughs> stir fry right in the thing. Stir fry. Um, I can make some salmon, rice, asparagus. I'm good on the grill, actually. Actually, I grill in the summer. Okay, yeah. So I'll grill steaks in the summer. Yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. I was thinking, I'm like, that. that's probably what you're doing that's in your backyard. Yes, like yes, I grill in the summer, but when I'm in Philly here, I don't. Uh, cooking is uh, not happening. All right, well, good. Now Chloe's going to get some, some of that good Scott salmon, right? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> oh, can't wait. Mmm. <laughs> How excited are you for a little reset? Good. I'm uh, looking forward to it. <laughs> Where are you going to be this summer? Uh, Drummondville. Probably stay here for a couple of weeks and then uh, wait to see what happens with the pandemic back home and then um, yeah, head back home uh, soon, hopefully. Now, if I remember, you guys kind of recently built that house back home, right? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, three, three years old, probably. Two, three years old. Hopefully you get a full summer there to enjoy it. Yeah, it would be nice. Uh, haven't, you know, been much in that house, so it would be nice. I know. You guys also have a sick wine cellar, which I know you guys are big red wine lovers. What is, do you have a bottle in mind that you're ready to crack open? Not really. Just just excited to go home and, and you know, see some, some family, some friends, and, and enjoy some wine. And Ella, you'll she'll be one over the summer, right? Yeah, in July, yeah. Do we have any birthday plans or talks of what you guys have in mind? Uh, not yet. Haven't really talked about it, but uh, I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure the the family, our our parents, are gonna you know be excited to see her again, and probably will want to uh, to be there on her first birthday if we can. Hopefully, is there anything that you're looking forward to accomplishing over the summer, like finishing something up at the house, or like just anything on your mind that you want to kind of check off the list? Uh, no, not really. I think we're we're pretty pretty much uh, set back home. Um, obviously, I think uh, we live on the water, so we'd, uh, it's been, uh, since we've gotten there, the, the plan has always been to, to get a boat or, or a sidhu, and we, we haven't yet, so I uh, just haven't had time, but uh, hopefully this year we, we have time to get a sidhu and, and enjoy the, the water a little bit. What is the first thing you're going to go do? Yeah, I'm going to kind of pack up here and then get home, and the family's already back home, and enjoy some uh, quality time with the family and get outside and enjoy the summer. Um, you know, these, these months are a grind, but yeah, kind of, you know, going home to them and enjoying them, you know, makes it all worth it. Where will you be during the summer? I'll be back in Minnesota. Do you guys have vacations planned or any trips or anything on the books yet? No, not yet. We got the, we got the second one on the way, so uh, nothing, uh, nothing set in stone. I don't think it's going to be very much uh, travel this uh, summer. It'll be mostly, uh, being parents, so it'll be good. Are you prepared for two? Uh, no, I don't think anyone's prepared to have any. It just happens and you just have to go with it. Has anyone given you good advice that is a parent of two on the team? I guess more, more or less, just no, don't neglect the first one. I could see that, uh, you know, you get so tied up with the newborn that, you know, the first one feels left out. So I gotta make sure to keep time for her. What is the first thing you're gonna go do with your your newfound off-season freedom? I have no idea, honestly. Didn't, didn't really expect to be off that soon, let's just say. I feel that. Um, well, now that you do know you're off, are you going to go anywhere? Are you staying here during the summer? Where will you be? Honestly, still trying to figure out. Um, yeah, kind of been living day by day throughout the whole uh, this past season, or I guess since the COVID hit. So uh, honestly, haven't made too many plans, you know, now that there's a few days, uh, few first few days after the season is done, now I'm gonna kind of <laughs> sit down and figure out what, what should I do next. But 
at some point get some rest and recover and uh, recharge and uh, go back into training and prepare for the upcoming season. Where are you going to spend your summer? Uh, back home in Sherwood Park. It has been a long 14 months. Are you, what do you have planned? Uh, my buddy's flying down tomorrow to visit for a couple of days and then we're going to head to LA for a couple and go visit my billet in, in Everett for a couple of days as well and then make, make our way back to, to Edmonton. So that's cool, you guys are still so close. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, is there one thing you want to accomplish over this off season? I know you were working on guitar, singing, like is there something that you want to do not hockey related? Uh, maybe improve my golf game a little bit. It's uh, it struggles when uh, my uh, short game, so my putting is pretty bad. So maybe that. <laughs> Can you just go to a mini golf course? Uh, no, it's not that that simple. <laughs> Okay, never mind. Pretend I didn't ask. Well, Kevin told me he's going to be flying to Florida to go golf a lot this summer, so maybe you guys can uh, can link up on the course. Yeah, except the border's still closed, right? There's that. There is that. You ready for some reset sleep? 100%, yeah. You deserve it. When are you flying back home? Uh, the 20th, I go back. You're spending the summer back in Sweden, right? Yeah, I have to be outside the country for a bit, though because of taxes, not as I'm gonna go to Spain when I get back home. How long do you have to stay there? Two weeks, I think. I take that, start working out there, bring my family over. And hopefully eat some good food. Spain is known for like the best tapas. Yeah, exactly. It's gonna be nice just to relax and just the mental part, just you don't have to focus on anything, just do your thing and then start, start working out again and really push it, so. You haven't even had your mental break and you're already thinking about working out. Yeah, yeah, 100%. I'm, I mean, it sucks this season is over, but um, I know that I need probably one more summer here to get back in, in the shape I was. So I'm really excited to get back to work and really, really push myself to, to the limit. What specific goals, what do you have that you want to work on? I think on? it's every, everything, but for the most, building muscles and get my speed back. I mean, you get that, it's, it's hand in hand with everything. So just come back, relax and start, start over again and, and uh, looking forward to our next season. It's the reset you all need and deserve. Yeah. Once you go back to Sweden, are you, like I've been seeing Alma went over there, are you guys working on a new house? Because I've seen some stuff. Yeah, I mean, she's been uh, running around and doing, doing everything back home. So I think everything is almost done. So I kind of go home to a new renovated apartment. So I'm happy for that. So did you guys buy an apartment there? Are you renting it? We bought an apartment there. Uh, we want a new place a little bigger, so we live in downtown in my, in my small city back home, so it's close to, to anywhere you want to go and it's a perfect spot for us right now. How involved are you with that process? Because I've been seeing she's doing a lot of work and it, it, there's a lot of decisions when you're renovating. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, especially when I'm here, it's, it's tough to see stuff when you're not there. You can see it in, in real life. So, I mean, she's, she's been good. She's, she asked me about some stuff, but most stuff she's to do for herself. Like, yeah, I don't even need to say anything about it. Well, and I, she has amazing taste from what I've seen. So you're in good hands. <laughs> yeah, I think so too.